Hey everybody and welcome to part 3 of Nostalgia Scott's playthrough of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. In last episode, we did Ocean Speedway and Colossus all in one episode, completing both of them with max percent. And we also got the ability to swim, which... Oh man, I don't know why, but this mus this music in the homeworld in this game is so nostalgic. Oh god, man, you could have like a... A retro gasm off of this. But, anyways, let's head to Idle Springs, check out the cutscene. The guy was heartbroken. So anyways, looks like the idols came to life. And see, you cannot get 100% here unless you have the ability to swim. So that's why I made sure to do Colossus first and then come back with enough money to then purchase swimming so then we can move on and do this level and get 100%. Because knowing me, I absolutely hate to not get 100% of the level. So anyways, let's talk to this guy. Spyro, the idols we were carving have come to life. They've locked us out of our temples or stolen our food. Okay, well that's easy enough. These guys just flame. Now, that giant statue there by the water, or I guess giant idol head, will play an important role in... Actually, a little bit. It's not going to take that long before we actually have to deal with it. But yeah, there's a tunnel down there to get one of the two orbs here. Yes, there are only two orbs. Ah, uh, you must actually come down here to do part one of it. There's three parts. Part one is actually right here. And I'll show you how to do it without even talking to the guy, because guess what? It's one of those make everything a solid color thing. So I believe you touch this one, then you move to this one, and then this one, and then finally the last corner. Done! Wow, Spyro, you did it! I mean, I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. And now we go to the pond where that idle head is. Sad part is, is once you're done, this is actually where the orb is, so once you get to the ending of the level, well, almost the ending of the level, you have to go all the way back through the level because, well, that happened. And there are gems down here, apparently. Ah, right there. Now you should point upward. Good. We have all the gems under here. Oh, wait. You're actually the guy I need to talk to. This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. I don't believe it tells you the idol is very... Do not feed him red fish. Feed him blue and gold. Not red. Red makes him sick. And you'll lose, I believe it's two or three fish uh, progress. And sometimes you get infinite red fish, so it can be very annoying. Or sometimes you can get lots of these fish. I have a feeling now we're going to have, like, a red streak. Do not be too trigger happy. Plus, Sparks actually gets in the way here quite a bit, so it does get a little bit annoying. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Gulp. Okay, just one more fish after that. You don't think it would take this long to get ten fish, but it does. Yes! Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. Yeah, you can tell this is American, by the way, colored is spelled, but... Um, yeah, now we just have to continue through the level. I believe we also run into, like, Zoe and stuff here to get some more information. I believe she tells us that we can't kill shield enemies unless charging. Funny thing is, guess what? You kill them first again. So these enemies are weird because you charge into them and actually stops you from charging. Uh, in the previous game and the game after this, most of the shield enemies you can just uh, charge into and keep going. For some reason, the enemies here are a little different. Now you have to uh, defeat the guys that are being held hostage, or defeat the guys who are holding these little builders hostage to open up the doors. I believe this is the shield one. Yeah, metal shields cannot be flamed. It's like, obviously, if I if I learned that before, that I couldn't flame them, then what, what the hell else am I going to do to them? Hey, I want that marshmallow. I love roasted marshmallows. On an open flame while camping, make some s'mores. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Can't eat them a lot, though. Like, I get tired of them real quick, but they are delicious. And the fodder here is weird. They're like big mutant spiders. 
Hmm, another one up. I don't believe after you turn off the game, your lives reset. No. I know a lot of old or even just Nintendo games in general like to reset your lives when you turn off the game. Donkey Kong was a big one. I believe they changed that on the Game Boy games of like Donkey Kong Country, but... I don't know. I guess because generally Nintendo games, especially Mario games, it's really easy to get lives. I believe this one is about camera angles. Yeah, like I told you guys in the very first episode of the Let's Play. So here are the colored stones. Now this is a little weird because I don't know if there's an actual pattern. Like, I know it's the same pattern every time, but I mean, like, there's no significant pattern to make you understand exactly what to do here. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. Yeah, sure, bud. Bob and bud. Can't believe since it was star, it's the next star, right? Yeah, then I believe it goes this weird diamond. Then moon. Shit, nope. If you jump... No, oh, I don't need you to keep telling me the exact same thing, buddy. Wait, no, it's the next moon. It's just the same color as the other one. Then this moon. And then the one that is completely different, I guess, again. Nice job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. All I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. I'm pretty sure it's an orb. Like, you just know it's going to be an orb, but that gives us our ninth orb, which is very important. So, just an orb? No. Wait, how do you know I'm Spyro? I don't get how these people always know I'm Spyro. We're definitely in a, in a different realm. Like, this is the... This isn't the Dragon Realms anymore. This is Avalar, where there are no dragons. And apparently they know who Spyro is, yet no one knew who Spyro was. Not even the people who brought us here, so... I don't know how they know that we're Spyro. I'm not even going to question it anymore. But, yeah. So anyways, I don't believe there are any gen Yeah, it's just pointing up. So that means we're pretty much done. Given the fact that... The rest of everything is, like, in a weird spot. This level is designed really weird. Like, the beginning of the level is technically the end of the level, if, if you know what I mean. And that's all the gems in this little water passageway. Little aqueduct. Anyways, let's talk to you. Spyro, you're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But a moment, I want you to have this talisman. Well, thank you, Max. You guys have very bland names. Very typical American names. And that is a very pretty talisman. It's honestly probably my second favorite talisman in the entire... Probably second favorite. I'll show you guys what my favorite is later on. Now, one, the next orb is actually down here, and you have to make sure you've killed enough enemies, because you get the supercharged power, which is a fan. What you have to do is you just have to destroy all of these to get the hula girls off of it. And then, once you have that done, we're finished. And they destroy that tiki pot man. Look at that. The hula girls' rain dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. Um, how do you know what a Roman candle is? I don't think Rome is a real place in this game. And there's both orbs. Oh, this game is the Spyro game with the least amount of... Col I can't really say that. The original Spyro game had very few collectibles as well. Speaking that it only had eggs and gems, and then the eggs, well, they were done by the third world, so... I don't know, I found, like, that was rushed, you know? Like, the the whole world. I believe you can actually flame these girls. Yeah, you can. They get a nice hot tushy. So anyways, we'll probably be able to get another level in this episode. I, a lot of people can only do one level of Spyro per episode. I can actually do multiple levels. I don't think there's been an episode so far in this LP where we haven't been able to do at least two things. At least half a world and a full world or two full worlds. So we did Colossus, part of uh, the home world there, Summer Forest, and then we also did um, the Speedway, Ocean Speedway to be exact. Would have got this in, but I didn't want the episode to run too long because, I don't know, people seem to lose... Like, they get a low attention span, like, even Cryotic there, like, one of the biggest game YouTubers, he has millions of, of subscribers, but a lot of his videos only get, like, 200,000 views, 
which that may not seem like a little map, but just because, like, when he does an LP, he does, like, hour-long episodes, and I don't know, I couldn't do that, because if I did an hour-long episode of this, it would be, like, I don't know, a long play, and I'm not specialized in long plays, I'm specialized in let's plays. That is just my forte. And there we go! Idle Springs is done in 10 minutes. Peace out. I think the the idols just wanted food. Darn tiki monsters. So now we're at 910. Zoom zoom. Okay. Yeah, see once you get the talisman. Yeah, I know. Sparks is the one that heals us. See? I believe once you actually leave the world, or maybe once you get to the final world, uh, you'll also see how many orbs you have. Also, I just remembered that there's an orb we can get here because I'm a complete numpty and forgot to go and get it once we had the ability to swim. I don't know, yesterday when I was recording uh, the, the first two parts, I felt like I was in a rush for no absolute reason. Like, I had hours before my girlfriend got home. And I tried rushing my recordings, and it's like, why do I need to rush my recordings? Clearly I don't have anywhere to be or anything to do, so just play some more games for you guys. Then, too, I'm also worried about memory on my computer because I don't have, like, the biggest hard drive. So I do, you know, worry about that. Ah, we can go on top of a portal. That is cool. Anyways, let's go into the castle. We're done. Literally, there's no reason to come outside here again ever. Then again, to get back here after we get the ability to climb ladders, we still have to we teleport back out there anyway, so I guess we will have to go out there. But, um... You know what? I'm actually going to go do a full level, and that full level will be uh, Aquaria Towers. So let's go do that level first. Another level that we can get 100% on, but you need the ability to swim. Obviously, you need the ability to swim to get here. So 33 more gems for our collection. Also, you need to pay money bags 100 bucks when you're here, so make sure you have 100 bucks. That guy's a royal dick. You know what, just for that, I'm gonna kill you. Oh, while these are out of the water, you can actually flame them. Crabs can be flamed or charged. Uh, underwater, they can obviously only be charged unless you have, like, a power-up. But anyways, let's talk to the seahorse. The funny-looking guys with the shock sticks have drained all our water. We can't get it back unless someone activates the switches they're guarding. <sighs> Dude, you just called somebody funny-looking. Have you looked in the mirror lately? I don't think he has. So what our goal is, see we can't progress unless we hit those switches, so... Also, sheep in, uh, scuba gear. Let's flame these switches, or charge them, doesn't matter. And you'll fill up the area. Also, I'm pretty sure that was up, not down like this. I think it lowers just because they don't want you to try and go on without it, because then you'll get stuck. Clearly, like, you could not get back up. Not a spiral. Maybe you crash Bandicoot with double jump. But... No way, Jose. Hey, stop electrocuting the crabs. You can at least kill them for me, so I don't have to do any of the work. But you just electrocute them to tease them. They don't even electrocute them to kill them. Man, crab is delicious. You can at least eat the crab. I wouldn't be mad if you ate the crab. It's not like it does anything important to me. Believe... Uh... Maybe there's a skill point here. Well, in this game, I don't believe they're called skill points. I believe they're just, like, extra lives. Like, skill points in the in Spiral 3 are also just for lives, but... I don't know, a lot of YouTubers go back and do all the skill points. I might, but they're not really mandatory. Like, you don't need them to beat the level. Oh, yeah. To get all the gems here, we're gonna need to fill this place up a little more, which... I don't believe we can do till the end of the level. I don't think there's any gems on this platform, is there? No. 
Didn't think there was. Also, we need power-ups to um, do a lot here, too. I believe we actually have to get to the ending level to do so. As most power-ups are in these in this spiral game, they don't activate until, you know, you're at a certain point. That way you can't abuse the power-up throughout the entire level, because a lot of power-ups in this game are very overpowered. Like, that supercharge ability would have been awesome in Idle Springs, like, if you know, we actually could use it everywhere, but that was a level that was very focused on gliding. Now, you're probably wondering, why do I have to talk to money bags? These sharks will insta-kill you. Yeah, not hurt you, insta-kill you. Hi, Spyro. You must be tougher than you look to get here. All the same, you won't be able to get past the metal sharks up ahead. I suppose I could let you borrow my submarine, though. For a modest fee, of course. Ah, uh, how much? A hundred bucks. A pleasure doing business with you, Spyro. This submarine is 100% shark-proof. I guarantee it. It better be shark-proof, you damn greedy bear. You're like Winnie the Pooh, but greedy for gems instead of honey. Or Yogi Bear and his obsession with picnic baskets. Every time I send an I love you to my girlfriend today, she doesn't respond. Literally, after she asked me about pizza, that was it. <laughs> kind of saddening, actually. Hey, you stopped me from killing him. You guys are both dead. D-E-D, -E -D, dead. Now, I know that's not how you spell dead. Like, I did get a, like a 99 in English in grade 12. It's been a while since then, but... I didn't know what I was talking about. And I did some college courses with the English where I passed with an 85 without doing half my work, so you can tell that I did good on the little bit of work I did because I dropped out because I needed money to survive and to do that, well, I needed to drop out of college, so the best thing I could... Our world is wet again. We all want you to have this talisman of Aquaria Towers to remember us by. You cut me off, Hoppo. That's the reason why I dropped out. I needed money. But we got Aquaria Towers Talisman, the Seashell of Doom. I normally don't do this level right away, but I guess I, I guess I did it in this episode for no apparent reason. But okay, now we need this power up. And where we're gonna take this? We're actually gonna take this backwards, and we're gonna take it to the sharks because guess what kills sharks? Mega Fire Breath. That's what. Because underwater mega fireball breath turns into like weird underwater missile type things. I believe there's more sharks. Okay. Now you could redo this to the other sharks, but we're gonna have to swim around the other way. And there's actually an outside portion to this level too. Which is going to be really fun to do. Not. Two of the three orb actually all three orbs are technically gotten out there, but <clears throat> But two of them are given by the same person. So let's just make sure we do everything under here first so we don't have to do any more backtracking. And we'll use this to now go this way. So you remember those sharks that were in this little cove off to the right. There we go, kill them all. Death to Sharky. Man, that shark was taking a long time to kill for some reason. I already mentioned all the uh, gem totals, right? I believe I did in an episode. Now, there are actually hidden gems up here. A lot of people forget about these. I've watched so many LPs forget those. It's, it's sad because they're so easy to get. Hey, money bags. Want a fireball to the face? See, that's what the fireball looks like outside of the water. Um, I believe one of the uh, end game things in Spyro 3 is you get a permanent fireball breath, but. I could be mistaken on that. Like, I mean, to get 100% on the game. But then again, there's like no point of replaying it. It's like, well, what's the point? Just going super fireball every enemy in the game? Now I believe we can collect all the gems out here, and we could be done with that and just have to collect the three orbs, which are all up here. One of them takes us underneath the level again, though, but we can still collect everything while we're out here. Yeah, this is definitely going to be under 30 minutes. I thought this episode was going to be a hell of a lot longer than it was, or than it is so far, so, so I was a little reluctant on whether or not to do it, but it seems to be going fairly smooth. Uh, okay, just trying to make sure I get all the gems down here. Ooh, gems. Don't accidentally talk to you like I did 
Hoppo? Don't get why his name's Hoppo. He's a seahorse. He swims, right? He doesn't hop. Ooh, that's a big chunk of change right there. I thought there was going to be another 10, but... Huh. There we go. All 400 gems. So now we can just beat the level normally. Well, not normally. Get all the orbs. I've been trying to tame my new pet manta ray, but he just won't obey me. Hey, you're just about the right size to ride on his back. Yep. Now we just have to go through the rings. Now, I had a bad controller for this back in my Solar Warlock days, and oh my god. This was so difficult. Like, I don't know what the hell was wrong with my controller, but they gave me not only a bad controller, they gave me a console that couldn't keep uh, a current going to it, and then the second console that they gave me as a replacement was extremely sticky and nasty. Like, it was just bad. It was completely awful. Alright. Now <clears throat> Let's do this again. Sorry about my throat. I don't know if it's because I don't have a drink or something while recording, but it certainly is annoying. Boop, boop. Oh, you did two bubble rings in a row there. Ooh, you're getting hardcore on me, little seahorse. Can I keep this manta ray? I like this manta ray for an underwater mount in this game. You know, in like World of Warcraft, you could have like the sea turtle mount or the water strider. I don't know, it's just cool to have like mounts that are special for certain land or for certain terrain. Incredible. You've got real talent. I could use a partner like you. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper too. Ah, uh, can you just give me these without, you know, having to make me do your shit for you? Because um clearly I need those to defeat Ripto and you're just goofing around, Hunter. Now where's that where's that King Seahorse guy? We need him. King Seahorse, King Flippy, King Finny. I think it's Flippy or Finny. The water workers have kidnapped six of my children and hidden them in the tops of these numbered towers. I borrowed some explosives to blast the doors off the towers. Okay. There's gotta be continuation. If you can make it to the top of the six numbered towers, my children will be safe. Okay. And by the way, this voice actor is used a lot in this game, so be warned. If you get tired of his voice... Yeah, me too. I don't know, he has a really weird voice. He sounds kind of monotone and kind of bleh. Is that Tower 3? Tower 3 and 4, which means 1 and 2 are somewhere else. Oh, wait, 1 and 2 are outside. What am I doing? You guys are probably laughing at me because you're like, ah, we seen it blow up, man. You're dumb. You're a sack of shit, bro. Get good. Oh look, electricity, I'm so scared. Let's grab the seahorse. You don't even have to touch it, you just have to make it to the top. I do like the explosion effects though. They are very Smexican. Okay, not really Smexican, but you know. Oh wait, I thought we had to deal with the crabs at least once here, but no, not yet. There we go, number two. Okay, that's weird. Like, I know you show me the number and all and the location, but it's weird that the door is halfway cut off when you're showing it to me. Where the hell is the little hole? And why... Why do you guys live in these buildings? Why don't you just live outside? Clearly, it looks like it would be better. I guess because seahorses are very slow, so they would get scared and eaten by everything. See, that one showed me not only its location, but its number properly. And it's literally right here. Right next door. Aha! I beat the electricity, so that was extremely easy. I believe that's where all those blue gems on top of it were, you know? Uh, so, best way to deal with this is probably go the way it's intended to go. This way. Actually, it is, because obviously it's in this room. I believe there's only one tower in here, the next one's in the green room. Oh. Double crab problems. Whoa! I thought I was gonna get electrocuted there for a second, but we didn't. We've taken one damage in this entire LP, right? We haven't died, that's for sure. I know I rarely actually die in Spyro uh, 1 and 2. Spyro 3, on the other hand, just has like a few annoying slide level parts where it can just get annoying and you just have to be careful, but other than that, it's not that bad. 
noise, let's swim. Hope you guys are enjoying the channel, we're now at 16 subscribers, I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but to me, that means a lot guys. Like, I do have a current channel that has 700 subscribers, so it's kind of sad that half of you guys didn't actually come along to that channel. Man, not even a quarter of you. Not even a seventh of you. Wait, seventh of you? Yeah, that'd be a hundred of you, so... You did it! Now we can swim in peace. I heard that you were collecting these orbs. Please take this one. I don't get why this is a four-star challenge, because this is really easy. But anyways, that's 100% on Aquaria Towers! Yeah! So now we can just leave. And I'll see you guys for the next episode after this cutscene. Peace out, guys.